Another Indiana soldier has been killed in Afghanistan. Parents of DeKalb Middle School students are invited to a meeting next week and will tell you what the DeKalb County Humane Society is doing to cope during these tough economic times. I'm Woody Zimmerman. These stories and more next on Who's Your Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right sell them a quality vehicle, and back it like we do with our famous 100,000-mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grandstaff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. Another Indiana soldier has been killed in Afghanistan. It's been reported that Marvin Calhoun Jr. of Elkhart was one of nine soldiers on board a Black Hawk helicopter that crashed earlier this week. The military is yet to confirm, however, that Calhoun died in this specific crash. He leaves behind his wife and a two-year-old daughter. Parents of DeKalb Middle School students are invited to attend a meeting next week to discuss issues such as the school improvement plan, the school's new website, parent volunteer procedures, and also technology in the classroom. The meeting will be held at the school Monday evening from 6.30 till 7.30 p.m. The DeKalb County Free Fall Fair is just a few days away, and the DeKalb County Historical Society is on the lookout for entries for this year's Antiques Display, which will be held at the County Fairgrounds on South Union Street in Auburn. Qualifying items must be at least 60 years old and must be brought to Middle Hall between 9 and 5 on Saturday on, for judging on Sunday. Cash prizes will be awarded to the first and second and third prize winners. A fair membership fee of $5 is required for all who enter. Like many of us these days, the DeKalb County Humane Society is doing their best to make ends meet during these tough economic times. Lolly Wygan is the director of the shelter and tells our Chuck Rowe that donations are down. Not only are those donations down, but that's where most of the money comes from that keeps the Humane Society running. More than 60 percent of our operating budget every year comes from private donations and fundraisers. And our donations are down almost 30 percent this year, we believe mainly due to the economy. Lolly says the shelter has had to make some adjustments so they can continue to serve the community and find adoptive families for pets in need. We have been way overcrowded with animals. In fact, right now we have, I believe, more animals than we've ever had before. Starting this Saturday, from this Saturday through next Saturday, uh, we're offering all canine adoptions for $10 and all feline adoptions will be free. And although donations have fallen in recent months, at least one person is stepping up and asks members of the community to do the same. We did have an anonymous donor last week challenge the community. For every dollar that the community donates to the DeKalb Humane Society, this anonymous donor will donate two dollars up to five thousand dollars so we're hoping that you know if, if people just donate a dollar that actually gives us three and that runs through october 20th which is the day before our uh, big fundraiser that fundraiser has become an annual event for the humane society lolly tells us more about the event called come fetch play it's held at the auburn court duesenberg automobile museum we serve a sit-down gourmet meal for 200 people and we have butler served hors d'oeuvres we have three silent auction tables um, oh my gosh, the, the tables have just about everything you could possibly want on them. You can get more details about the fundraiser or make a donation through the Humane Society's website at decalphumanesociety.org. I'm Chuck Rowe for Hoosier Ohio News Channel. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, let us know about it. You can email us at News at gmail.com. I'm Woody Zimmerman. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.